Hello and welcome aboard WhalePod to another Genshin Impact video. I am your Captain Whale and today we're going to be discussing the live stream to the backdrop of artifact farming in the new Sumeru artifact domain. I have saved up five condensed resin for this video. If it goes longer, I'm, well, we'll just find something that needs to be done. My teams are pretty swift at clearing these, although this one with this particular team I think averages around 50 seconds to a minute. We're going to be using my current friendship farm team of Kaching, Tignari, Heizo, and Shinobu. So let's get right into it. Sorry about that burp there. I uh, just had lunch and uh, I'm heading to record this video right after that. So that certainly doesn't help the whole... Uh, you swallow a lot of air when narrating like this and constantly taking in more in order to keep your uh, self from being starved of oxygen while... Uh, Recording. So, let's start things off. Banner order. I predicted Sino would be coming first half with Nilu second half, Candace on Sino's banner. I'm gonna call that one point for me. As far as reruns go, though, I'm gonna say that's half a point because I did get Venti, but I went for Hu Tao over Albedo, giving in to the whole it's been nearly a year since we've got her last, so she's got to be coming soon sort of mentality. So half a point because we did get Venti, but missed on Albedo. As for other contents of this, I did give myself half a point for uh, the 3.1 main event. As it is a Mondstadt event, but it's a new festival we've never heard of before instead of Ludi Harpastum. So half a point for Mondstadt. But losing half a point for uh not for it not being Ludi Harpastum. As for the uh, festival rewards, we are going to also go ahead and give me a loss there as it does not appear as though any character is being given away this event, or this patch's main event. And if there was, it would likely be Razor rather than uh, Kale. However, I we are getting a free Kale for having cleared Abyss 4-3. So, newer players will still be able to get their hands on a permanently free Kale instead of having to pull her or wait for limited time events to redistribute more Kale in the future. Now, onto the re onto the other events. There are two new events aside from the main event. But there was only one returning event, and while I did get that one correct, that was Hyakunin Iki, I also said Misty Dungeon would be reappearing, or predicted Misty Dungeon would be reappearing. So I'm going to give myself an L for that one. Personally, that was a wish list of mine, because even though I missed the first Misty Dungeon in version 1.5, I really enjoyed the rerun run when it came back. I think it came back in version 2.3. Yeah, 2.3 sounds right. And I was hoping we'd get another Misty Dungeon, seeing as it's almost been a year since then. The two new events look okay. Hyakun and Iki, I really want a bit of a, a bit of payback to see if I can't get higher star platinums than last time. The previous uh, Hyakun and Iki run, I was only able to get one stage above one star platinum when three star was available. I had two star on one stage and then the rest were all one star platinums. I am hoping to do better this time. Keep up. Yeah. The live stream in general was enjoyable. I do actually prefer the voice actor live streams to the dev live streams. I can understand why the devs would want to do the anniversary live stream. But as a multitasker, even when I'm not on camera, yes, when you're on camera, you are multitasking. You're multitasking in the fact that you are having to talk while playing whatever game you're recording. I prefer the dev live streams as I do, uh, well, the voice actor live streams to the dev ones as I don't need subtitles to understand the English voice actors where I do need subtitles to understand what the 
Devs are saying, I love the Chinese language, just uh, I don't particularly care much for having to interpret what's being said. And I like to be able to do things like my daily commissions and stuff as I'm watching, which I wasn't really able to do this time as to needing to pay attention to read the subtitles so I can actually understand what the devs are saying. Aside from that, the anniversary rewards. Next topic of discussion there, because that came before all the other stuff at the end. The anniversary rewards are pretty par for the course for what I have come to expect from a Genshin Impact anniversary. 20 free wishes, 4 resin, some other goodies from the uh, anniversary login daily 7 days sort of event. But we're also getting a new commemorative gadget themed around Klee and Dotico, which I absolutely love. And we are getting a new cloud retainer themed pet. Which I'll probably still use my Sealies, but it will be fun to have and say, hey, I, I was here for the two year anniversary. That's how I have this thing. Uh, I have plenty of Pyro Goblets. I'm not keeping the Copium ones. I am also partially doing this here to stock up for another Artifact Strongbox video at sometime during 3.1. Going after Thundering Fury to get better pieces for Kaching, Fischl, Yaimiko, and hopefully uh, Sino as well. I will be getting Sino, and I do believe that will be his best set. But now back to the live stream discussion. Another disappointing part about the... Uh, Let's nip that in the butt. About the uh, dev live streams is we don't get to hear the English voice actors saying the names of these new characters in English. So we still have no official end to the Sino Sino debate. I am still Team Sino. I am once again basing this logic off of the name Cyrus, which comes from the same region of the world where Sino is from. As for other things they announced, I'm pretty meh on the whole concert and music feel of things. On, on, on like the whole musical side of things. If I want music from a game, I'll find someone who's uploaded it to YouTube. But we are then also got the absolutely poggers announcement of a official canonical Genshin Impact anime. Done by the people who animated Demon Slayer. Or at least I think they animated Demon Slayer. That's what Techie was saying when I watched his uh, condensed his condensed live stream after watching the full live stream myself. And that seems pretty pog because uh, they do good work. Like, really good work. It is taking me a bit longer to clear these because I am uh, focusing on talking to you guys. But that is pretty much my thoughts on the live stream. We uh, won some, lost some. My predictions on which characters will use which maths won't actually be able to come to fruition until Hoyoverse puts out the official rundown of what each of them are going to need. I know I could look up leaks, but I would rather not do that. I think looking at leaks takes away a lot of the fun out of new Genshin content. So we will not be doing that. My predictions from the original video still stand as such. Oh, one more thing. I predicted two world bosses, even though I also predicted Sino would likely not use either of them. And we did see two world bosses. We still do not know if either of them will drop Hydro Fragments for our new Hydro characters. I predict one of them will and the other one won't. And I predict that Candice will need the one that won't and Nilu will use the one that will. But I'm going to give myself one point here for uh, predicting two world bosses. I could have gone further and said that they'd both be mechanical, like one a Conrian machine and one a Scarlet King machine, like they ended up being, but I was not willing to bet on something like that out of the blue. For a second there, I thought Kaching's burst didn't go off because I didn't see the animation associated. This domain is really not that hard, it's just I'm focusing on talking as well, not really able to get into a bit of a gamer stance here. But yeah, so two world bosses, the last point for me. We'll have to wait for further announcements from Hoyoverse about the materials needed for the new characters to see how my other predictions fell out. And with that, we will claim this last artifact reward, and then we are going to call that here for this uh, live stream wrap up. All in all, I give this live stream a, a B plus rating as far as grading a, a live stream goes. I'll see how this one rolls. But with that, uh, 
Thank you for watching Whale Pod. We won some, we lost some. I did not mean to restart this domain, but we will do the outro from here. I hope you've enjoyed this video, Whale Pod. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and sub to the channel if you have not already. Each of those three things helps me out immensely and costs you nothing more than a few moments of your time. But with that, Whale Pod, I have been your Captain Whale. I hope you all are having fantastic days, but until next time, this is goodbye.